Mrs. H and I are here in the town of Mount Desert, in the city of Solmesville in Maine. And we wanted to show you the beautiful little library that is in this town. So we're gonna take you on a little tour of the library. This is the library in this town. I showed you the outside and it's just a beautiful, beautiful library. Everything is nice and neat and clean. And I'm gonna introduce you to the librarian. This is Mr. Tom, the librarian. Hello children, welcome to my library. Thank you for having us here. How long have you been working in this library? I have been the librarian here for 17 years. The lady who was librarian before me here was here for over 20 years. So I haven't been here very long in the greater scheme of things, but we've been open for about 115 years. That's amazing. So we have a long tradition of good librarians here. It's such a beautiful library and you take such good care of it. Do you have a children's section? We do. We have a children's room right over here. Please enjoy yourself. Look? Yes. Okay, I'm going to take these children for a tour of the children's section of your library. Okay, look at this children's section. We're going to go in here and take a look around. Let's see. They have some chairs for children who want to sit and read. And there is a beautiful view outside every window here. And this is the children's section. Isn't it beautiful? I'm going to show you this beautiful view out the back room. This is the back room of the library. And when you look out the window, Look what you can see. It's a beautiful pond, a little waterfall. But now that we've taken a little tour of the library, I think we're going to read you a story that you can enjoy at bedtime or whenever you'd like to. We hope you enjoy it. Hello, boys and girls. I'm sitting in my parents' kitchen in Maine. And I'd like to share a story with you about the puffin. The puffin is a bird that's local to this area of the country. And I have a story called The Angry Little Puffin by Timothy Young. What's that? Some kind of penguin? Oh, it's a sweet little penguin. That's a funny looking penguin. Hey, what a kooky little penguin. If one more person calls me a penguin, I don't know what I'll do. Look at that cute little penguin. That's it. I can't take it anymore. All day long, I hear, look at that funny little penguin. And what a silly looking penguin. I am not a penguin. I am a puffin. P-U-F-F-I-N. Puffins are definitely not penguins. It's bad enough I have to live in the penguin house at the zoo and watch their lame brain antics. People don't even read the sign on my window. They just assume I'm a penguin. I mean, there are so many differences. For one thing, penguins live in the Antarctic, near the very bottom of the earth. Puffins live on the top of the world. We are polar opposites. It makes me so mad that I could jump off a cliff. But you know what? What would happen if I did? I'd fly away. That's right, puffins can fly. Not like those dopey penguins who seem to have forgotten how. Why bother being a bird if you can't even fly? I don't know why penguins get all the attention. Toys, movies, television, even comic books. It's penguins, penguins, penguins. Come on, the puffin would be the coolest guy in any comic book. It's not fair. For once, I'd like someone to come up and say, look, it's a puffin. Look, Daddy, it's a puffin. Puffins are my favorite. They're really neat and they live in the Arctic Ocean. This one is an Atlantic puffin. He's also called a common puffin. I think he should be called a special puffin. Look how cute he is. There are other kinds too, like the tufted puffin and the horned puffin, but I like this one the best. He eats fish 
and squid and sand eels, and he makes his home in cliffs near the ocean. And you know what, Daddy? He can fly, unlike those penguins over there. He's so sweet. I wish I could have a pet puffin. Wow, you sure know a lot about puffins. Let's go see if they have a toy puffin in the gift store. Hey, what's that? Some kind of penguin, I guess. Well, he sure is a happy little penguin. I hope you enjoyed my story. I would like you to email me a picture of where you might be this summer, and I will take those pictures and put them up on the postcard board that's in the front hallway when you return from school.